Hi, this is Ed Fleming. This is a house that we built in 2002, moved into 2005. This is the basement area where the shop ended up. Didn't know I was going to have a shop and ended up with this 1400 foot shop plus a bathroom and an office. This is a Powermatic uh, 90 lathe and a uh, older Delta pin router that are both sold. This is my uh, large seven and a half horsepower Delta that I sold. This is a trailer that Roger Schwartz, who, lo who bought my saw, loaned me, and I took five trailer loads of stuff. That's Mitzi, making sure it's done right. This is Victor Castro, my friend, and his son, Victor Jr., moving equipment around in my shop, kind of positioning it. I set it up so that all the stuff on wheels could be wheeled back in between each other so that I could put my truck in, leave it overnight. And this is an A-frame that we built so I could unload stuff from the truck. This is my wood rack and some of my Vidmar cabinets uh, that uh, I made into a bench. Here's the shop with the stuff in position, um, ready to move the truck in place. It was a little bit tight. A little bit tight. And I had a chance to get a 1,400 foot building 300 feet away, so I ended up moving it. Remind you, mind you, I never did get the place wired where I could use it or do anything. So I had to move all the stuff out. This is still stuff. It was really a mess. I would move a load down, get everything straightened out, and then move another load, mess it up, straight, straighten it out, go over and over. I did it about 10 times. Um, they, uh, that's again the horizontal router. And uh, this is the Clearview Cyclone that we moved and some of the other equipment. And uh, again, they, now we're going to go over to the new shop and uh, we took out an office that's eliminating a doorway uh, that you can see where we took the office out to give more shop space. The next thing we did was, well, I put in a jib crane to be able to lift things off the truck with. And uh, then we worked on the uh, floor after that and got the floor all uh, painted nice, which you'll see in a few minutes. And then I arranged all the equipment in the shop and getting ready. Here's painting the floor. Tino and Victor and Victor's son, Junior, uh, Victor Junior. This is the uh, wood rack and we used it in lieu of a scaffold to uh, put a storage area above the closet. Here's just moving the equipment in, getting it roughly in place, just getting kind of started on, on, on the setup of the equipment. I'm going to replace this drill press with the 60 year old drill press. It's about three times better, I think. Uh, these cabinets shortly you're going to see is putting a bench top on them. This is my patented early warning system. Uh, you touch it and it falls over before you hit the cabinet. Uh, works pretty nice. Uh, here's Victor and Tino starting to put the uh, tops on the benches. There's Victor. Uh, I have put two-faced tape on is how I put it on and he was just kind of tightening it down and uh, there's Tino finishing up uh, trimming the edges off the cabinet here is the uh, uh, cabinet with the uh, tools in it and the bench tops on and uh, this shows the saw stop saw in the shop again the tool cabinet open Works pretty nice, really. That's it.